153344. Uh, it goes by many names. Americans know it as soccer, the Spanish know it as football, and some even know it as the beautiful game. <coughs> Either way you put it, soccer is known all over the world as one of the greatest games to ever be created. Every four years, the greatest teams in the world gather for a month-long celebration of soccer, the FIFA World Cup. Every player's dream and every fan's most nervous time of the year. Um, now that you know a little bit about the World Cup, I can tell you about a little bit how it's ran. Um, uh, the World Cup is run by FIFA, and it stands for the Federation Internacional de Football Association, which is basically just a fancy words for the Football Association. Um, it was established over 100 years ago on May 12, 1904, and it oversees basically all the rule changes and in, um, international matches and runs a few leagues around the world. Um, but most importantly, the World Cup. Um, the way the World, the World Cup set up, it, only 32 nations from around the world are, are allowed to qualify for the World Cup. And then they're split into eight groups. Um, as you can see here, this is the group USA drew for the 2014 World Cup. Um, from there, um, only two, two teams escape each group, and from there, uh, six, uh, the remaining 16 teams play in elimination matches until there are only two, and that's kind of why it lasts so long, uh, because it's really, like, a lot of matches. Uh, now to tell you a little bit about the history of the World Cup. Uh, the first World Cup was held in Uruguay. Uh, in 1930 from June 13th to July 30th, featuring 13 teams. Um, it was actually the only tournament to not have a qualification uh, like standards for the teams to play in it because uh, like so few teams could make it and it was such a long time away from their families and stuff. Um, the winner was Uruguay. They defeated Argentina 4-2. Um, uh, they were only a five other teams to actually win, be, being the, the host nation. And it was uh, Uruguay in 1930, Italy in 1934, England in 1966, West Germany in 1974, Argentina in 1978, and France in 98. Um, but controversy sur actually surrounded the ball that was used in the match. Um, they couldn't, I don't know why not, but um, they couldn't decide who got to choose the ball. So um, for the first half, Argentina chose the ball. And for the second half, Uruguay chose the ball. And you can see the difference between them right there. Um, the 2010 World Cup. Uh, the 2010 World Cup was the first World Cup to be hosted by an African nation. Uh, only, the only African nation to escape the group round was uh, Ghana, who actually defeated the US in um, in the first elimination game. Uh, they eventually lost to the runner-up, Uruguay, in, the, in orange, who got uh, beaten by Spain in the blue. Uh, that's actually the winning goal of the World Cup right there. It was one of thriller. Pretty awesome. Um, United States soccer. Uh, the US team has yet to miss qualifying for a World, World Cup, but uh, they still haven't the men's team hasn't won a World Cup, but the women's team did in 1999. Uh, me and him, big back in the day. Uh, um, and starting July, I mean June 13th, there's um, the the 2014 World Cup will be held in Rio de Janeiro, which is also the location for the 2016 Olympics. Um, it's really expected to be one of the like, the greatest to date because of all of the all the um, the new talent and stuff coming in for all the teams. Uh, Brazil is actually the favorite to win. Uh, and here's actually a clip if we have some time of the World Cup commercial. We have some time. Yeah. All right. Free to play.
That was actually the winning goal for Nova. Though. That's um, that's the FIFA World Cup.